Geminis, hi guys. Welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is another love reading for you. I hope you guys are doing well. You're healthy, you're happy, you're at peace. Life is good to you. You're good to life, etc. <laughs> um, yes, we're going to get the current energy between you and a love interest. We're going to see the potential outcome and we're going to get you some advice. Please keep in mind, this reading could be for that cross watcher, that love interest. Okay, so don't force it to fit your side. Just take it how it resonates. Um, yeah, you should not be confused. You should not be scratching your head. Um, it should resonate. It should feel familiar. You can also watch the sign of your love interest. You may have messages there, okay, as a cross watcher. All right, Gemini, let's get into your reading. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Universe, Source, what messages of love do you have for... Gemini's. Give them guidance, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment, and truth. Truth for healing, freedom, clarity, and peace of mind. This is for Gemini in love. What messages do you have for Gemini's in love? More shuffle for Gemini. What what messages of love do you have for Gemini? Okay, the current energy between you and a love interest is what? Complacency. Interesting. Complacency. The potential outcome is instinct. Okay. Your advice. Gemini. Ooh, soulmate. Okay. All right. Underneath that is perfection. Wow. All right. Let's get into it. It should be interesting. We'll see what's in store for you guys. Complacency. Mm. That's like when you're not, you're, you're, you're in a place and you're not aware that that place is not benefiting you, could be a dangerous place, could be hindering you, but you're not really doing anything about it. You're not criticizing it. You're not awakened. It's like it has an awakening feeling to me. Complacency does. Un unawakened. Excuse me. Okay. All right. So why does Gemini have complacency? We have the Four of Cups in the reverse. This is all about new goals, ambitions, having new beginnings. Okay. Why the Four of Cups in the reverse? Oh. Okay. Hold on. I got to go climb under the table and get that card. Hold on, guys. Okay. Sorry about that. Why is the Four of Cups in the reverse for Gemini? Three of Cups. Hmm, are some of you trying, like, you may start dating? Why the Three of Cups? The Wheel of Fortune. Uh, possibly, this is like change. Um, going through change, um, progressing forward, advancing forward. This could be your destiny. This could just be, you know, something just working out for you. What's the energy of complacency? Whoa. Oh, okay. Six of Pentacles, giving to someone, sharing, assisting, buying someone gifts. Why the Six of Pentacles? Wow. These cards, whoa. Ooh, Eight of Wands, communicating with someone. Um, taking action, putting action behind it, manifesting. So you could be manifesting like a person, like you're dating, but with complacency there. Like you might, you might be a little just too comfortable with where you're at, where you are, but maybe inside, I don't know, you're not like you're wanting to date. Why the eight of wands? Maybe you want to date. Okay, three of swords. Heart broke. Maybe you, your heart is broken. You've been hurt. 
you've experienced disappointment, maybe that's why you're complacent. You're not really, you know, doing anything. But I feel like you want, like, some stuff here, like, to meet someone new. You want this wheel to turn here. Why the Wheel of Fortune? The Ten of Swords. Because you realize something. You realize something, the truth of something. Um, why the Ten of Swords reversed? Facing the reality of what? The High Priestess. Maybe your higher self, your intuition is nudging you, tapping you, speaking to you. You're learning something. I feel like you've learned something. Why the High Priestess? Oh, the Six of Wands. Okay. That's all about success, victory, overcoming obstacles, achieving something. Why the Six of Wands? Okay, but you're conflicted. Ooh, honey. Okay. I feel like you want to date, but I, at the same time, I do see you could have had your heart broken heartbroken could have been disappointed at some point in your life and maybe now you're realizing look that's over it's done there's nothing I could do about it you know I want to have I want to be successful I want to be uh, I want to achieve I feel like some type of romantic thing here or like dating someone getting to know someone meeting someone new four of cups what's whoa What's that? just this? What's the energy? Because even here, the fool's like taking a leap of faith, starting something new. Maybe can out of this energy of complacency. Why the fool card? The hanging man, changing your perspective. So, I think something happened. You had a little bit of a reality check, a wake up call with that ten of swords reversed, and it's saying, "Hey, I'm ready to get out there again." Because I don't think anything exciting was happening in your life. And maybe for a, a while you were okay with that. But not really seeing like, hey, this is never going to get me a date. Like, I'm not going to meet Mr. Right or Mrs. Right just sitting in the house, in my room, watching movies. <laughs> um, anything is possible, but most of the time that doesn't happen. But I see you are changing your perspective. You're changing how you view maybe getting out there. Maybe wanting to try new things. Some of you could try like online dating. Or just, you know, maybe you approaching someone. But whatever it is, you're wanting it to work for you. Like, maybe you weren't, yeah, like, maybe you weren't really approaching other people, but, like, now, perhaps you are wanting to do that. Why is a three of swords here? Why the three of swords? Uh-oh. Okay. The five of pentacles. So, somebody could have hurt you. Someone could have left you out in the cold. Left you feeling alone and rejected. And I think that could be a reason why you're like, you know what? If it's just me by myself, I'm good. Nobody can hurt me. Nobody can do anything to me. It's just me by myself. Oh, Gemini. But that's not what you want. I mean, I, I see that that, that that is not what you want. Okay? So... Yeah, you're conflicted, though. I think it's because you have been hurt and because people have done you wrong. Or they just left you out in the cold. Like, they just, like, left you. Yeah. You're thinking, though. I see you thinking, the hanging man. Maybe you're also, like, how do I improve this? How do I make this better? Because there's a reality check here. All right, let's see what's going to happen. Okay. But I think you, you realize maybe something is over. Like that situation has ended. It can't hurt you anymore. Like, you know what I mean? It's time to move forward. All right. 
So, what's going to happen? You have instinct. Instinct. Ooh. That reminds me of like your intuition, that gut feeling, that sixth sense. You know? Maybe you should listen to it. again all right spirit why does gemini have instinct for the potential outcome yeah it's like that higher self that intuitive to intuit and sorry intuition why is instinct here magician manifesting making things happen okay that's the magician very confident very creative is gonna make things happen. Why the magician? Okay, seven of wands. This could be you just being guarded. You might be guarded, protective, which is nothing wrong with that. We should be guarded, but don't be too guarded, okay, to where nobody can get to you. Why the seven of wands? Because there's a person out there who won't, you won't have to guard yourself too hard. Knight of Cups, love offer, <clears throat> making a love offer, following your heart even. I think I think you will do this. I think you will go after what you want. You're going to make it happen, okay? You might offer someone something. You might meet someone, but I see you are pretty guarded. Why the Knight of Cups? But I think you're going to follow your heart. Your heart is like, I want someone. Why the Knight of Cups? The Justice. Mm-hmm. You are going to do something very honorable. You're going to be in harmony and balance. I get balanced here. So you're going to balance the scales. You're not going to be complacent anymore where you're not doing anything about it. It's like, no, I'm going to put myself out there. Maybe, hopefully, bring some of these, you know wands down to why the justice card that's libra energy whoa hold on why the justice card okay the ten of swords why the ten of swords the queen of swords well that could be you hold on let me put these up i feel like that is you why the queen of swords because I think you were hurt in the past. Something ended. Oh, but you're still conflicted, though. You're still conflicted. Two of Swords. Don't, um, we're going to get your advice, but, um, I can't tell you not to not protect yourself or to feel like, you know, I, I mean, this is even you blocking your emotions. Very conflicted here. I can't tell you not to do that because when you're hurt, you do want to protect yourself. But all I'm saying is maybe some of these wands should come down, put a sword down, even here. You know what I mean? You have, you're going to have to trust. You have to be like the fool card, taking that leap of faith. Why the two of swords? The knight of swords. It's like, <laughs> you're going to be so guarded still, but you're still going to pursue this. Because you have the Magician and you have the Knight of Swords. You're going to follow your heart, but you're still kind of like in that, uh, you might be just conflicted about love, about relationships. You know what I mean? Like you could have really gone through something. I mean, you did. I saw you had the heartbreak. You had like someone left you out in the cold, rejected you, left you in despair. And so, yeah, that's going to make us feel some kind of way. But I see that you're still going to go for it, which is, I think you should. You know what I mean? I think you should just go for it. Knight of Swords. Pursuing, aggressively pursuing, determined, like, to go after what you want. Being brave, being strong. What's the energy of instinct? The King of Pentacles. Okay. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Why the king, or you will deal with an earth sign. Um, that's a Taurus 
card that's also Aries. Why the King of Pentacles? Why the King of Pentacles? The Ace of Swords. Mm, maybe like a fresh start. You might have like a fresh start with someone. But I think it's because you are determined. But mm, I just don't want this to get in the way of this fresh start. This guarded feeling. This not, you know, cutting off your emotions. Why the Ace of Swords? Whoa, okay. The Fool. There it is. The Fool card. Taking that leap of faith. I think, I think you're being nudged. Seriously, I think your intuition is saying, yeah, hey, you know that King of Pentacles? Yeah, go see what's up with them. What's up with that? What's up with the King of Pentacles? Even if this person isn't an Aries or a Taurus, um, male or female, they may be just a, a, a reliable person, a business person, a person who's all about taking care of theirs. Um, this person is an optimist. Like, the King of Pentacles is popping, okay? Like, this is good people. And if you have this person in your midst, why not? Why not take the leap of faith? Why not just go for it, okay? And enough to where they can see you, Gemini. Enough to where they can experience who you are. And not the person who's been hurt. Not the guarded you. To where they have to like, you know, your brick walls are so high they can't even see you. You know what I mean? So let's get your advice. Get your advice and see. But you have soulmate, yo. You have soulmate. What is gonna what is what are the cards gonna say? <clears throat> Excuse me, as your advice. Soulmate. Alright, spirit. Why is soulmate Gemini's advice? Why is soulmate Gemini's advice? Oh, the hermit? Virgo energy. Hmm. Soulmate. Hermit. Why the hermit? Wow. Ooh, that was you trying to pop out. Five of swords. Hmm. This could be feeling some some level of defeat, feeling like you can't win. Um, but that hermit, that's like tapping into your inner strength. Like, I mean, your inner wisdom, excuse me, going within yourself, seeing yourself for who you are, being co conscious and aware, okay? Some of you may be hostile. Some of you may be defeated. And it's like overcoming this. With that hermit, he's going to try to find a way to overcome obstacles or fix things or find figure something out. Why the Five of Swords? If you're feeling like, ah, oh, this won't work, the hermit is here so that you don't feel that way. Why the five of swords? That's you. That's just you going within, okay? Ooh, there. Ooh, ten of cups. Ten of cups. I think that's you, Gemini. I think you're feeling some kind of way about uh, relationships and love and the hermit. You're in hermit mode. Or this is advising you to go into hermit mode. Which is going within yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do I describe going within yourself? It's, it's a conscious thing. It's meditating. It's pulling away and really assessing your problems. Assessing all of your issues. Weighing the pros and cons. Okay? So that you can see, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go for it. Or you know what? It's best that I don't. But it's not biased, right? It's, it's literally... <sighs> something it's not based on hurt that's what i'm saying when i say bias it's not based on your decisions aren't based on hurt they're based on strength they're based on wisdom what's the energy of the soulmate Ooh, the world card with the page of pentacles so something has ended in your life and that something is beginning okay it's new because you got the page it's something new here and if you're like, ah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting kind of like an indecisive mode. Like you might be indecisive about a particular person or just love in general about relationships. 
but you're fighting through it and I can appreciate that. I can appreciate, a, I feel like a Gemini would fight through their own resistance, okay? Why the Ten of Cups? And I feel like the cards are telling you to do that. There's that Five of Wands. <laughs> See, you're so conflicted. Like, you're so conflicted when it comes to a soulmate, relationships. The Ten of Cups is like, wow, the ultimate happiness. But you have to go within. What's the energy of the Hermit? The Seven of Swords. Okay, there's some confessing of Queen of Cups. Ooh. Queen of Cups. Cancer energy. <sighs> I mean, if you're dealing with the Cancer, you're dealing with the Cancer. But I don't think that's what this is. It could be telling you to confess to this Cancer something. I, I don't see a confession like that. But I see maybe admitting to yourself that you want love. That you are loving. That you are gentle and that you know what I mean because I, when I think of the queen of cups I think of love I think of nurturing I think she's she's sensitive to other people she's compassionate but if you're in the two of swords where you're blocking off your emotions you know what I'm saying it, it's gonna be hard to get there like turn the switch back on and I, I've said this before, I don't know if, I, if I've said this in this reading, but there's only one switch to your emotions. There's one switch. And when you turn off the switch so you don't feel the pain, the hurt, the anger, you also turn off the switch to joy and love and happiness. There's only one switch. So when you turn the switch on and you start feeling those, the anger and the pain and the sadness, just allow yourself to feel it. Because it will subside. It will go away. Don't push it away. Just take it and feel it and deal with it head on, face to face. I mean, you're Gemini. You're strong, right? So take it head on and deal with it. That way, the love is not being um, pushed away as well with, the other, with all the other emotions or being turned off, the, the switch being turned off. I think this is admitting to yourself that you want love. Look, it's, you have something new starting. You, have a, you, may, you may have met someone. You could have met someone and you're not sure about them. And it may not even be them. I think you're not sure about relationships, period. Because you've been hurt. But guess what? When you heal the heart, you're not going to be feeling all this indecision. Okay? But this is, it's in you. The love is in you. I feel the love is in you. New, brand new, the love is in you. Gotta go within. Tap into this. The one thing about the hermit is it is admitting things. Because now you have to use your wisdom. Now you have to be conscious and aware. You might have to admit some things to yourself. Hey, yeah, I'm still hurt. Yeah, you know what? I do want love. You know what? I do want to be with somebody forever. You know, all right, Gemini, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Good luck with this situation. You guys take care. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Mwah. Deuces.